and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is permutations of a string which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one string s and its length can be as long as 9 okay so let's say string s can be as long as 9 and it will only contain uppercase english alphabets okay all right and now let's see what we have to do so basically we have to return the unique permutations of this string in a array list okay in c++ it can be any other data structure so basically we have to return all the unique permutations of the given string s okay all right pretty simple problem statement is there so first of all you should know what is a permutation so permutation is basically the arrangement of the uh, characters which are given in this string s okay so arrangement in any order it can be but we have to select all the elements of this string okay all the elements of this string we have to select and we have to return the unique permutations okay all right so abc if we will talk about abc uh, the unique permutations are simply a first and then b c okay and after that a first and then B C I will interchange their position it will become C and B okay all right and after that if I talk about B C A it is also a unique permutation and if I talk about B A C it is also a unique permutation in this way we have to construct we have to make the unique permutations of this string S and return them in an array list okay all right uh, unique permutations basically means if I talk about k k okay so this is a given string and what will be the unique permutation of it it will only be k k uh, but like we can make the this k uh, two permutations can be made let's suppose first position of this in taken and then this okay so this is k k and after let's suppose first i am taking this k and then i am taking this k okay so in this way second kk is there but they both are duplicate so we have we will only arrange once we will only arrange them once because uh, unique permutations we have to consider so kk will be our answer in this way we have to construct the permutations okay all right i hope the problem statement will be very very clear to you now let's move to one note where we will think about the approaches which we can take okay all right okay so first approach which is coming in my mind is basically not an approach but just the thinking of idea what i will do i will simply use n number of loops uh, n number of loops starting from zero though so, n number of loops and n basically means the length of this string so they will all run from zero to length okay all the loops will run from 0 to length and we will take check one by one if any character is taken or not so if a is not taken i will take a okay then i will go to b uh, so basically these length of uh, nested loops are going inside one another with each for loop and uh, we are in this way we can make some permutations but like how many number of permutations how many permutations we can make what is the max length of this issue? string what is the maximum length of this string so there cannot be any fixed length of a string so we have to make let's suppose uh, many nested operations and it is also not fixed so that's why we will not take this approach but look if we do not know which how many uh, let's suppose um, string length can be and we are not sure about for loops how many for loops we have to make so this is a very classic case of recursion where we don't know how many times we have to run this and basically we know what a base case for that we know a base case for that so this is an ideal solution this is an ideal problem of recursion where we will simply use recursion plus backtracking backtracking is basically a type of recursion only so we will use that and we will try to understand the uh, solution of it okay so to get the permutation first of all we have to say if i take a b c in this order it is one permutation if i take a b c in this order it is a permutation okay if i take a b c in this order it is a permutation if i take them in this order 2 3 1 it is a permutation okay 2 3 1 basically means c then a and then b okay so this is a permutation in this way we have to construct the permutations okay all right so we will simply um okay 
let's suppose we in one we will run loop so we will run this loop n number of time okay all right so n basically means the string of uh, length of a string and each time we will pick one character from this string at each type time we will pick only one character from this string if it is not yet taken okay all right so after three uh, after three times after three calls we will have one permutation let me quickly tell you how so that it becomes more clear it might be currently a bit typical to understand so this is our string abc okay and currently none of them are taken okay zero 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 like basically means they are not taken anyone is not taken okay so what i will do i will simply run a loop from zero to n minus one okay zero to n minus one which means key from all the from all the characters and there is one visited array as well there is one visited array which is currently saying zero 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 basically means none of these characters are taken okay so first of all a zero uh, at zero index a is present so i will take a i will take a and now uh, my new string will be something uh, my visited this is my visited okay so in this visited this one is taken and this zero and zero okay and my unique permutation is also a okay all right and now again we will start from 0 to n minus 1 0 to n minus 1 and i will check first of all is a taken yes a is taken okay is b taken no b is not taken so take b as well um a b c again and this time both a and b are taken only c is remaining okay and my permutation is also a b Okay, all right. My permutation is also a b. So again, I will check from where where is starting. Let's say zero to n minus one. I will run this loop. A is taken, b is taken, but c is not taken. Okay, so I will take the c as well. So uh, my unique my permutation is now become a b c. Okay, so now we can see the given string length and my permutation length is same. So it means all the characters are added once, and we have got one permutation which is a b c, and I will add it into my hash set. Why I will add it to my hash set? Because in hash set we can have unique elements and we will simply return them at the last. So that's why I'm storing in the hash set. Okay. All right. A, B, C is done. Okay. After that, what I will do on going back, on going, so A, B, C is done. On backtracking from here, what I will do, C was marked as done. So now C will be marked as incomplete. Okay. Let's say C is not visited. Okay. Now, uh, no other characters are there. Okay. I will again move back to B. On moving back to B, this time my B is again not visited. Okay, so if you remember, one for loop was there, which is running from here to here. So first of all, it can take a, it took B and make it as positive. You can see here B is made as positive one and included in the permutation. Okay, now B is left, and now I will what I will do? I will take C this time. I will take C this time. Uh, that only for loop will take C. So now my new um, visited array will something look like one is taken c is taken but b is not taken and my permutation my current string permutation is basically something like a c okay again we will run a loop from 0 to n minus 1 length and now a is taken b is not taken okay let's take b so the permutation will become something like a c b and now all the uh, characters are taken once because the length is equal so all the are taken one one time Again, one new permutation I've got ACB, add it to my set. Okay, and now traverse back. On traversing back, what I will do, basically B will again become zero. Okay, and now again coming here, B and C both are zero again. Okay, all right. Now you can see one for loop is done. This for loop is done. Okay, all right. So again, we will traverse back. Again, we will traverse back here. And this time all are zero, zero. Basically means one backtracking is done and we have got few permutations okay so now if you remember there was a for loop going on which on first time a was uh, zero which means not visited so we went to the recursion of that a by taking a as the first character okay so that for loop is still there and now i is equal to one which means basically b okay so which means ki i will take b this time so my visited array will something look like a b c with b as taken and C and A are not taken, okay? And my current string is also B, okay? Now again, a for loop will run from here, zero to N minus one, A is not taken yet, okay? Let's take A. So on taking A, my new 
uh, visited array will something look like a b c let's write it a is taken b is taken but c is not taken and my current permutation string is something like b a okay again a for loop will run from 0 to 1 minus 1 a is 1 which means it is taken b is 1 which means it is taken c is 0 which means it is not taken let's take c so b a c is formed i will add it to my hash set and we will simply backtrack on backtracking again c which was taken 1 will move 0 here which means not taken again we will backtrack here so now uh, a which was taken a which was taken is also zero okay so for loop if you remember first of all a i got so i moved here now a is done we come back b is visited okay now again we got c so we will take c this time so now uh, again new visited array will be something like a b c in which a is not there a is zero b is taken and c is taken as well okay all right so this time what i will do my permutation string will be something like b c and then we will take a as well so it will become b c a in this way we will keep on going we will keep on running this until look my base case will be every time my permutation string is equal to the length of the given string it means all the characters i have added and we will simply add it to the permutation string to my hash set and at last we will simply return the hash set okay and at each step we will simply run from all run over all the characters of the string and visited array will help us saying ki which characters are included and which characters are not included okay i hope it will be very very clear to you and when i will write the code of it it will become crystal clear to you so now let's quickly move on to the code section and write the code of it okay all right so let's see the code of it but before that if you have loved the explanation of this approach and uh, please subscribe the channel like the video because it's very late night and I always make videos before morning. So if you don't want to miss that, please subscribe the channel, like the video and comment down how was the explanation. Now let's quickly move on to the code section. So what I will do, uh, I will simply make a set of a string, which means basically, I think you know what it means. Okay, so HST and I can also name it at answer is equal to new hash set. Okay and after that what i will do i will make a boolean visited array as well new boolean of s dot length okay and after that what i will do i will simply call my function which um, one more function which i will make and i will name it as make perm permutation make perm okay uh, if it sounds wrong i will make it make permutation only permutation something like this make permutation and what i will pass first of all i will pass my string as okay i will pass my set answer my current string which is empty at this point and my visit array as well okay and when i will come out of this uh, make permutation function and i will come to this 37 line i will have the all the permutations in my answer set and we have to return that but before that let's quickly make static void make permutation and guys if you are coding in c plus plus the link is my pin my pinned comment github link so make sure to get the code from there as well so a string first of all s and then there is a set of a string which is answer and then there is let's suppose a string uh, current and uh, after that there is a boolean array of visit okay all right let's quickly remove this pen from here so these are the all the things and now first of all uh, let me write the base case the base case is very simple if current string dot length is equal to s dot length it means key we have got we have considered all the characters if we consider all the characters what i will do i will simply add the current string to my answer uh, answer set and we will return no need to go further because all the characters are already included but if all the characters are not included yet it means we will go to 44 line and here it's very simple if you remember what i told simply run a loop from i is less than s dot length i plus plus and uh, here 
I will first of all check if it is not taken. So how we will check if not visit of i. It means if visit i is false, it means this character is still not taken. So we can take that. So let's take it. First of all, what I will do uh, visit i is equal to true. And after that, uh, we will take this character s dot caret i into my current string. How? Let me quickly tell you, show you. So what I will do, I will simply call this make permutation function again. And this time s will be passed as it is, answer will be passed as it is. Current will have one more character which is s dot caret i okay so one more character is added and after that visit array is also passed okay and when we will come out of this 47 line we will come to 48 line here it means all the permutations with this current string are done and now what i will do i will simply mark this visit i as false so let's quickly write it visit i is equal to false and that's it that is it of this function i guess yes so and after that uh, uh, we will come here on 37 line we just have to return a new array list and of what type uh, basically what characters it is answer so in this way we can convert our answer hash set to our array list let's quickly try to run this once actually i am very tired today and uh, uh, just making a video to continue our streak on the youtube it's getting compiled let's quickly try to submit this please subscribe the channel and like the video if you have loved the approach and it will highly motivate me comment down if you enjoyed the learning or not let's quickly see if it gets accepted yes it is getting accepted so that was it for today i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and subscribe the channel like the video bye